अमी ही तम सुर संघा विशंती केचिद भीता प्रांजलयो गृणंती स्वस्तित युक्त महर्षि सिद्ध संघा स्तुवंती तम सुति भी पुष्कलाभे हेलो फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स दिस इज दी ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट श्लोक ऑफ द इलेवेंथ चैप्टर ऑफ भगवदगीता एंड टुडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस श्लोक इन डिटेल सो लेट्स फर्स्ट गोर इट्स मीनिंग सो द श्लोक सेज अमी ही तम सुर संघा विशंती विच मीन्स ऑल द देवास टुगेदर एंटर इन यू केचिद भीता प्रांजलयो गृणंती विच मीन्स सम फ्राइटंड वंस प्रेज यू विद ओपन आर्म्स स्वस्तित युक्त महर्षि सिद्ध संघा विच मीन्स स्पीक विद डिलाइट दी महर्षीज एंड सिद्धास टुगेदर स्तुवंती तम स्तुतिभे पुष्कलाभे विच मीन्स प्रेज यू विद प्रेयर्स एंड हिम्स सो ओवर हियर अर्जुन इज सेंग दैट ऑल दी देवास enter into the supreme divine form of shri krishna some are praising shri krishna as uh, frightened ones while the other maharshis and siddhas are praising him with delight so the idea over here again is the unity of all the divinities in this entire creation so there are so many different sects around in this world who worship uh, the supreme lord in their own form and uh, the fools actually think that uh, all these supreme forms of different different sects are actually different and uh, uh, the supreme form that is been worshiped by their sect is the right one while all the others are wrong but uh, the wise actually know that uh, all these supreme forms actually are the different different manifestations of the same and they are all equally valid so uh if a person develops this insight wherein he understands that uh, people who are worshiping the supreme divine in their own form are all equally valid for him what will happen is that uh, all these different different deities which are worshiped by different different sects they will all then start to enter into the one supreme divine deity which is uh, expressing himself in different forms for all these different different sects so for such a person then he will start to see that uh, all the gods uh, vishnu shiv buddha allah jesus yehova devi zeus sun fire ek ankar all of these supreme deities they will start entering into that one single supreme deity so that is what arjun is seeing over here he is saying that i start to see all the devas now entering into you so he will no longer say that you know everybody should worship only according to my form my way of worshiping is the only right way of worshiping all the other forms of worshiping are wrong that is not what he'll say he will start to respect all modes of worship as the valid modes of worship why because there are different different people who have uh, uh, experienced this entire creation in a different different ways and so each individual has to have a unique uh, way of worshiping mode of worshiping according to his own unique situation so uh, that is what that person will start to see we have to understand that uh, those communities which did not achieve high level of civilization uh, due to the lack of resources or due to their geographical locations lack of resources or very low population so those people who were not able to develop a uh, very high level of civilization they never really got a chance to sit quietly and think so the thought never really developed very much over there because they were too busy in surviving in the harsh situations where they were living so in these places the religion did not really really take off their religion did not really take off to the great depths that are needed and so they used fear for example to bring people on the path of righteousness while uh, there are other places where civilization bloomed because of some reason or the other maybe the land was more resourceful there maybe there was more population there the, the land could uh, basically uh, provide food for more and more people so civilization developed over there and as civilization developed over there people got a chance to just sit quietly and think and so in these uh, civilizations then a new form of religion was uh, developed wherein uh, they used intellectual pursuits they used knowledge they used love and praise as a way to bring people on the right path so different situations have provided different ways of reaching the supreme divine lord 
And so just saying that, you know, one method of worship is the best method and all the other methods are wrong is not the right way to look at it. People are living in different situations in different societies. They will approach the Supreme Divine Lord with their own way, which is suitable for their situation. So we should not try to impose one way of worship on all. Instead, we should respect all modes of worship and uh, understand that a person is good. He is the, the Divine Lord sits inside him and he is trying to approach the Divine Lord according to his situation. Your situation and his situation is different. Don't impose your method on the other one. Some are worshipping him by fear. Others are worshipping him by singing praises. Everyone is trying to reach him. Let them try that their own method. And uh, as time will come, they will get to the right position. So that is what is the message of this shlok over here. I hope that I have explained this shlok well to you. With that, I will close this video. I will see you in the next video. Take care.